So I'll just read one other landscape poem. This one is called Landscape of the Conflicted. If only you were elsewhere. Elsewhere is like stepping off a curb, thoughtless in that way, as definite as a car key turned. Here, the woods eventually open to a pond and a water bird, and then the necessary takeoff. Wings stretched wide to lift the dragging feet, the water dividing, folding over two glittering selves, nymphs arcing their backs. Possibilities are suspended within this fountain of brightness. Choose, and you can be seated at a restaurant. Tables of tea lights reflected in stemware, and in the long wall mirror, all the white napkins. Choose, and there you'll sit with an etiquette of silver and a sense of belonging elsewhere. Elsewhere is like leaning back on a blanket on the beach where you're supposed to be, watching the tiny lives wash in, carried there, and crawling under. So this poem is maybe one of the oldest in my collection, and it's called The Spy's Egg. And it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a real thing, actually. Uh, uh, in the 16th century, there's this cool thing where this, this uh, uh, special ink, you'd, you'd, you'd bowl the egg, you could write on it, and the ink would go through. And so you could see the message only after you peeled the egg, which is kind of kind of neat. So that's what this poem is about, The Spy's Egg. A 16th century spy, communicated by egg, <laughs> stolen from the hen, then boiled and cooled in a kitchen of scullery maids, where a message was slyly pinned. The ingenious ink seeping through shell onto the cooked white interior of this marvel, kept from routine eggs, then tucked into a private apron. Next morning, through iron gates to travel in a pocket, never handled needlessly, but always as felt weight, conveyed down the alley, beneath the open shutters, through bright, jarring streets, to the point of delivery where it was cracked. To be read, it must be peeled. Hope for understanding warned the spy's egg when the subterfuge ends. <laughs> I, have no long, I have no idea how long I've been up here, but it feels like I might should read just one more and be done. <laughs> See, they think so too. They think so, too. <laughs> so this, is, this one is called Elegy. It's a, it's a sad one. Cedar, the scent of potent ink. Cedar, because my mother scattered the cones. Then came trees and her children with a small forest to walk through. And the bright days that happen of listening and tripping over roots. Was she here? What was her voice? The cedar scratched my hand as if I burned from the inside with the life I'd been given, as if I could become dry or old. In that hour, I can't forget, her breath was the disruption, her face already changed. I remember footpaths, the quiet traveling them, Ghost blue juniper berries, ruptured moth sacks. Thank you very much.